you won't believe if I say this is the low season in Thailand. Let's go inside the airport and check it together. Good morning guys, good morning from Suvarnabhumi airport and welcome back again into another vlog from Live Love Thailand. As you can see, it's super crowded. We are in low season, today I'm not traveling anywhere. I am waiting a friend, he's coming from Hong Kong. We still got one hour. In this one hour, I'm gonna update you and show you the airport, what is the situation these days in Thailand, in the low season. Everything you need to know if you are coming soon and of course answer some of the questions through our vlogs so it will be very helpful and informative vlog let us start as you see from the departures floor so this is the international departures floor and as you can see there are lots of people are flying today i've just checked the flights most of them are flying back to india china korea so lots of Asian travelers these days enjoying their vacation in the low season. Can we say this is low season? You can see there are people in the airport more than the high season. So this is a cabin crew and this is a Chinese airline. As you can see, you can barely walk. The way is blocked. We are at the airport. So hopefully you are enjoying this lively picture from Bangkok from Suvarnabhumi Airport and check this out guys. No comment. As you can see, it's super busy. You can barely walk. Lots of people sitting on the ground because it's too busy. No places to sit. Some of them are flying back home. Some of them are flying from Thailand to their vacation. So this is an idea about the international departures. Let's go and check what's happening at the domestic flights, at the domestic departures. And of course, I'm gonna tell you something that might interest you if you are coming to Thailand these days and you want to take domestic flights. Let's go. So now we are at the part of domestic departures. And of course, the same story. Lots of people are flying domestic. I'm gonna tell you that the domestic flight prices these days are super cheap. Lots of offers. Last week I have uploaded a vlog and told you why this is the best time to travel to Thailand. Because if you want to explore Thailand and have more domestic flights, this is the time. You can take two-way flight only for 1,000 Thai baht. That much cheap these days. So my friends, if you are coming these days to Thailand and if you want to explore lots of places in Thailand, Phuket, Krabi, Chiang Mai, wherever you want to go, the prices of domestic flights are insane. Lately we have flight into a very beautiful destination. I'm gonna upload it soon. And we've got our ticket two ways only for 1,200 Thai baht, imagine. So in the high season, it's around 3,000 to 3,500 Thai baht. Now you can get it less than 50%. Since we are talking about the domestic flights, you can take Vietjet Airways from Suvarnabhumi Airport, one of the cheapest domestic carriers in Bangkok. The prices are so affordable if you are flying with Vietjet Airways. And moreover, you can get seven kilogram baggage to take it with you to the plane. And of course, if you want more options, you can go to Dongmong Airport. There are lots of flights there, like Nok Airways, Air Asia. Also, the prices are so affordable. But there is something annoying about the domestic flights, and especially if you are flying to Koh Samui, to Samui Island, that only Bangkok Airways are the flights from Bangkok to Samui. And the prices are insane. Imagine 7,000 baht, two-way, of course. So if you want to fly to Samui, you can take a flight to Suratani and from there you can take a ferry directly to the island. 
So in two weeks, I'm flying there. I'm gonna show you all the rules, how you can fly from Bangkok to Samui, the cheapest way. So keep an eye on the channel. Now, before we go and check, of course, the arrival floors and see if it's also busy, people are traveling these days to Thailand. Let's go out and tell you a little bit about the weather if you are coming to Thailand these days. So here we are back outside the airport. We are still at the departures floor, which is the fourth floor. And you can see from the pictures how clear are the skies. This is the story. Although we are in low season, but that doesn't mean that it rains every day. You can see how clear are the skies. The weather is so hot. So if you are coming to Thailand these days, you're gonna enjoy also the weather. No problem, it rains from time to time, but that's not the whole story. Last week we had a trip into a beautiful island and the weather was amazing. It rained from time to time, but that was no problem. I had some questions from lots of subscribers last week asking if the islands are okay to travel to islands and moreover, the trips, the boat trips, everything is okay. You can take the boat trips and moreover, you can take the prices so low now. So if you are coming to Thailand and you want to visit the islands, and make the boat trips, no problem, you can do it. Now guys, let's go back inside the airport and you can see from here, people are coming with trucks, with buses, with taxis. It's too busy these days, the airport. Let's go to the arrival floor. You can see along the way, this is the third floor before we go to the second floor. You can have some meals along the way. And if you want to eat cheap, stay with me till the end. I'm gonna show you where you can have some affordable meals at Suvarnabhumi Airport. So here we are guys, this is the second floor, the arrival floors, and this is the domestic arrival part. So at the end of the second floor, as you know, is the domestic arrival part. This is it. But we are going to check the international arrivals, which is also at this floor. Now, Suvarnabhumi Airport will gonna have soon a new terminal. Of course, once it's ready, we're gonna cover up that. So this is the domestic arrivals. And now let's check the international arrivals and see if it's also busy. Lots of you love this place. This is the international arrivals. I'm sure you are always happy once you arrive to Thailand and sometimes you are sad while you are leaving. That's the story, right? So this is it. This is the international arrival part. And you can see also it's busy. Of course, it's busier in the high season, but still good. You can see lots of people are traveling to Thailand these days and enjoying everything they can enjoy. As I said last week, I've talked about six points, which makes Thailand now one of the best times to visit and enjoy all these promotions and privileges that you can have in the low season. Now one of the funny things that once you arrive you are tired from international flight, 12, 13 hours flight, maybe sometimes more than 19 hours flight, how you can find your name here? That's the question. Of course, if you have pre-booked taxis or buses or any services, your name will be here. So you have to be very careful to read your name and check the service. But as I said, the question is how you can find your name at this mess. So that was an idea about the international arrivals. As you saw from the pictures, Bangkok airport is super busy, not only on the departures floor, also on the arrivals floor. Now let's go and check the first floor where you can find the public transportation, the taxis and the buses. We had some questions concerning buses to Hua Hin and Pattaya. Let's go and check and tell you what are the details. So last week I uploaded a vlog and of course if you have watched it that was a trip to Wahin and lots of subscribers asked me what is the best way to travel to Wahin. The cheapest way, the fastest way, so you can take a bus 
from the public transportation floor in Suvarnabhumi Airport. But before that, let me show you all the transportation, public transportation services that you can have at this first floor. So the first one, you can take your ticket from here and of course, take the public taxis, as you can see, choose the number on your ticket. All these taxis work on meters, so no problem. The second option, if you want to take the electrical taxi, also available at the first floor, as you can see, this is the place, electrical taxi to Pattaya, Huahin, and of course, all the places you can see. If you like to take this kind of services, it's available. This is the entrance number seven, and the electrical taxi services are available just here. So those are the regular taxis, and this is the electrical taxi. Let me show you the services and the places that you can take. Also very cheap, this public bus, you can see line S1. It starts from 6 till 8 p.m. And it's only 60 baht per person. From Suvarnabhum Airport to all these places, and of course one of the famous places is Kosan Road. So all these services are available at the first floor. Now let's go inside and show you from where you can take the bus to Wahin, Pattaya, and other destinations also so cheap you can see how busy also is this place which floor you go today at Suvarnabhum airport it's crowded so this is the place from where you can take all the buses which are so fast and so affordable there is a bus each and every hour so this is to Pattaya and Wahin so if you want to go to Wahin it's 325 baht per person and if you want to go to Pattaya is 143 baht per person as you can see it's so cheap so affordable and directly from Suvarnabhumi airport this is the best place if you are traveling to these places you can take it from this airport Well, that was an idea about all kind of transportations that you can take from the first floor. As you can see, you have lots of options. So no worries. Besides, of course, the airport link, which is one of the best ways if you don't have lots of luggage. It's really nice to take the airport link. After all, whatever you like, it's available at Suvarnabhumi Airport. Now it's time, almost time, my friend will arrive from Hong Kong in 10 minutes. I have to go back to the arrival floors and of course greet him and take him to his hotel. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and had an idea about the situation in Bangkok airport and moreover all the things that you can enjoy if you are coming to Thailand very soon. Thank you for watching, stay tuned and subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand.